new footage from January 6 of Nancy Pelosi, her reactions as the insurrection was unfolding and her mission the morning after to make sure Donald Trump would quote, as she put it, pay the price. But first, I wanna play for you a never before seen moment with her daughter who filmed all of this. Pelosi is describing how she felt when the day was finally over and she and her colleagues were safe. You're done with Donald Trump. How does it feel? I just feel sick that what he did to the Capitol and to the country today. He's got to pay a price from that. Pelosi the next morning in a candid call with her staff, uh, then worked on a speech to address the nation, her focus again on Donald Trump and his actions that day. How many times did the members ask, are we prepared? Are we prepared? We're not. Prepared for the worst. We're calling the National Guard. I just don't understand this. Why do we empower people this way by not being ready? Why do we empower people this way by not being ready? Her last words there. Joining me now is CNN senior political commentator and former Republican Congressman Adam, Adam Kinzinger. He also sat on the House committee that investigated Trump's role in the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Um, looking at those images and, and seeing that again, first of all, what does that do to you? Because you um, were, were very, very, very disturbed by what you saw that day. Yeah, I mean, look, it takes me back to, and it reminds me that it wasn't just Nancy Pelosi saying we have to go after Donald Trump here. This was like literally everybody. I mean, keep in mind the very first time a member of Congress defended what happened on January 6th. I mean, I guess in theory, Matt Gates said that there, you know, there's supposedly rumors that it's Antifa. But the first time really that you saw any congressman come out and, and sort of defend it, it took weeks to get there. So everybody at this moment, including Kevin McCarthy, who gave a speech that said Trump bears responsibility, he should have called the mob off. You remember uh, uh, McConnell eventually said that he bears moral responsibility. Right. So this was a very unifying moment. She was reacting how we all did. And it just kind of takes me back to that and makes me furious that my party decided to, to memory hold that whole day. Yeah, I mean, all the people that you just mentioned from, you know, McCarthy to Schumer, they, they have all backed Donald Trump now. Um, I, I, I would like to get your take on um, why this was released, um, because Republicans are looking in, in, in the House, looking for um, ways to dispute what happened on January 6th. What do you make uh, of them trying to use some of this video um, as a way to try and say what happened didn't happen or there was something nefarious on the Democrat side. I mean, this is exactly what they do. So they try to they try to uh, obfuscate and say that, look, oh, it was Nancy Pelosi's fault that the Capitol wasn't ready. Now, let's keep in mind, there's a th and here's the problem. And this is what they take advantage of. OK, is that there is complicated talking about how things work. It's sometimes complicated and you can just react with a quick thing. So the complicated thing is there is a Capitol Police Board that governs the Capitol Police. Nancy Pelosi has no control over the National Guard. That is not even the mayor of D.C., both people that the Republicans try to blame for not having the National Guard there. The D.C. National Guard is controlled by one person, the President of the United States. So what they're going to try to do is say that since she's focused on Donald Trump, she's ignoring her, her desire to secure the Capitol. No, the Capitol was very secure that day. The day after January 6th, we had, what, 20,000 National Guardsmen there. The focus of all of Congress on that day was getting justice for what happened. I mean, I called for the 25th Amendment. You know, that came to the floor for a vote. There was, that's what the focus was that day, is ensuring that Donald Trump paid for what he did, which we all agreed on at that moment until, of course, politics comes into play. And, boy, I got to get reelected. That's so much more important than actually dealing with an insurrection on the Capitol, which unfortunately a lot of my colleagues now say. 
I do want to ask you about something that happened at, at Arlington National Cemetery. Donald Trump went there to honor the families mm. uh, of those uh, soldiers who were killed in the Afghanistan withdrawal. An, a noble reason to be there. Uh, but then there turned out to be some sort of altercation, some sort of issue um, with the, the folks at the at the cemetery, the workers there, uh, and Donald Trump's campaign team, the campaign saying that they were trying to stop them, that we had to do with cameras, um, because, of course, there's this federal law in place that says you cannot use this cemetery as uh, a campaign event, a place to, to, to uh, take video and then use it in your campaign. What do you think uh, of all of this? And are you surprised that this sort of thing happened at such a solemn moment? No, I'm not surprised anymore. I'm not. I mean, this is Donald Trump. I mean, let's, like, I don't want to be like gratuitous here, but how many times every week there's a new story about how, him disrespecting a veteran he would see our if I went to Arlington National Cemetery, I would be there like very solemnly. I guarantee you, I, I think we've known him long enough to say, I guarantee you, he was thinking about what does this mean for me politically? So he went there. He wanted to get his video and pictures. People that worked there at Arlington did the right thing, which is to try to stop it from happening because this is disrespecting the memory of those that have fallen. Um, and of course, their team, who doesn't also care, gets into it with it. I mean, look, how many times did he use the White House as a background for political events, which up to that point was not allowed? But of course, when he's the president, he can change that. Uh, look, to all Americans, regardless, if you think that, you know, we should be having every campaign now stopping and every congressional campaign and every Senate campaign going and doing campaign rallies, in essence, at Arlington National Cemetery, that's fine. I don't think the vast majority of Americans agree with you. And, and this is... Again, it's just par for the course with Donald Trump, and I can't wait till we never talk about him again. Adam Kinzinger, thank you so much. Appreciate you coming on this morning.